Hello again, Dave Barton from Power Pro. In today's video, I kind of really want to talk to educators and trainers in the automotive field. Now we know how important electrical diagnosis is for technicians nowadays, especially nowadays with everything going fully electric. And Power Probe's always been committed to providing tools to aid in diagnosing circuits faster, quicker, and easier. Now, Power Probe's line of tools are specifically made to aid the technician in speedy, efficient electrical diagnosis. Of course, we have multimeters and other electrical testing accessories. But what we're famous for is what's called the Power Probe. Um, it's a unique combination of circuit tester and voltmeter. It connects directly to the battery, so every reading you take on the car will be referenced from that battery starting point. Um, it looks for voltage drops, things like that. However, we are aware that in some shops, power probes have a reputation for possibly damaging components on the vehicle. Okay, now I'm a professional technician before I came to Power Probe and have been using these before I came to work for Power Probe and have never damaged a component in all of my working career of using these things. Of course, you have to be careful because the tool has the ability to, to apply power or ground. You certainly could damage some things. But if I'm using a hammer the wrong way and I put a dent in the customer's car, our hammer is not allowed in the shop anymore. If I use an impact and break a lug stud, our impact's not allowed in the shop anymore. So again, this video is really meant to go out to the instructors and trainers out there to hopefully give you some tips um, when, especially when getting begin training beginners on using these tools safely and effectively. One tip right off, um, having the ability to apply power and ground is a fantastic diagnostic tool. You're able to apply power to see if components work on the car. Let's do this one. You can power up components in your hand by applying ground on one side and power on the other. But that's not all the Power Pro can do. Um, just the fact that it's connected to the battery and is always comparing readings to the battery it's connected. When using the Power Pro, you should normally get red light, high tone on positive, green light, low tone on ground. But like I said, it's always comparing from the battery it started with. If it sees a difference of more than half a volt, here I'm reading only 10.2 volts versus 11.8 up here. You won't get that light and tone, so it alerts you that there's voltage drop on the circuit. Um, it's especially effective when testing ground side because it's always comparing to the ground side too. So the Power Probe 3 can still be a very efficient, effective circuit tester, even if it did not have the ability to apply power ground. <coughs> so if you're concerned with giving your students a power probe to do electrical testing, there's a couple of things you could do to disable the ability to apply power and ground. Um, number one, you, you can apply power directly to a ground. This is circuit breaker protected. It'll take a second because my battery's low here. But... Now you've tripped the circuit breaker. You see CB on the display here. I can still Check ground, check power is the same way. All my volt readings are the same. It's still checking for voltage drops with the no light, but I just can't apply power ground. That's one way, intentionally trip the circuit breaker, but that's easy to reset. So if you really don't trust your students, <laughs> all these rocker switches are replaceable. So it just takes a little screwdriver to get in here and snap that rocker switch out you can literally give it hand your student a power probe without the trigger and again I can still do all my power and ground testing voltage checks voltage drops 
I just can't apply power or ground. And if the student feels they're in a testing situation where they need to apply power or ground, they've got to come see you for the trigger switch. So there's a couple of ways where when training to use power probes correctly, um, and you're unsure of the student's ability yet, you can actually disable the power up function in the power probe. Reason number two, I wanted to talk to trainers and educators out in the field. Um, you notice I've been using this demonstration board to show off the functions of the power probe. It's got lighting circuits on it. You can, oops. You can power things up by applying power, by applying ground. There's a little motor here you can spin up. There's points for measuring resistance, different resistance levels. You can also use this with the multimeter. Um, checking good grounds, checking bad grounds. There's different voltage readings off of here. There's even an audio signal on one of these. Uh, you can do things for checking continuity. So, so it's a great little trainer board for basic electrical tests. You can be used, like I said, you can use it with a power probe, any multimeter. And digging around the warehouse, I found I have a bunch of extras of these. So for you auto tech trainers and educators uh, at the tech schools, at the colleges, at the high schools, I have some of these to give away if you think this will be useful, especially if you want to train on proper use of power probes. We do have some extra demo boards available here. I can send you one for free. All you've got to do is email us at education at powerprobe.com and we will send you, while supplies last, a free electrical demonstration training board. Thanks very much, and I'll see you next time.